16, John 1, 4, excuse me, says this, In him was life, and that life was the light of men. God said, let the light shine. By the way, God did not create the light. God is the light. When God said, let there be light, really what it says in the Hebrew and in the Greek is, let the light shine. The, the Greek quotes it that way later in the New Testament. God who said, let the light shine, let his light shine in our hearts, the Bible says. So God is a giver of light. He's a giver of revelation. Let me just simply say that God can give you light for whatever darkness you find yourself in. Whatever the darkness is. I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, that I have gone through a time where I believe and in many ways did fail in every area of my life. My spiritual life, my walk with God, pastoring the church, taking care of finances, the tithe, my marriage, my parenting. Calvary Baptist Church, if you knew my failures, you could only do one of two things. You could forgive me or you could reject me. I stand before you, humble before Almighty God, to say all that is true. But also to say this, that Jesus Christ can bring light to your darkness. How does God bring order to our life? He does it with the Spirit. Jesus said he will guide you into all truth. And there's order in truth. There is disorder in lies and deceit. He even taught us to pray for order. He said, Lord, give us this day. He taught us to pray for order when he said, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Do you realize how much even the Lord's prayer is a prayer about order? The Ten Commandments. He gave us the commandments because of our sinful nature, telling us what we should and should not do. It is God's formula for order. Imagine what our life and the world would be like. I asked somebody this, somebody who is not a Christian, somebody who is not even religious, but they had to admit I was right about this. When I talked to them, I said, can you imagine what our life and the world would be like if we all just kept God's commands to love Him and love our neighbors ourselves? Would the world not be a better place if we did that? Would it not be a place of order if we did that? But we live in a land of disorder. Even though I'm not ready to go there yet, let's go to number four and then I'll close. This one's a little tough for us sometimes to believe. But God brings order to people. God brings order to people. We see that in verse 26 and 27. Then God said, let us make man in our image. In our likeness. And let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. You see the purpose, when you look at everything that's going on in our world and our government right now, it seems like now they want to strip man of his sovereignty over the creation. And they want to make creation sovereign over man. Look for that. Everything that the Bible says, this world right now is trying to reverse and change. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Three phrases. No, number one, male and female. Only two. Only two. In his own image, in his own likeness, the Bible says. What does that mean? And I don't want to go into depth on this, but basically... We understand the triune. We, we, don't, we don't really understand it. But we believe the triune nature of God. The triune nature of God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God is Spirit.